Hey guys, I'm going to be moving my autos into a hydroponic setup. So I just want to show you guys um, how to get started hydroponically uh, by using a bubble cloner, I believe they're called. Uh, it's really cheap to make. It's only like five bucks. You can get uh, all the stuff at Walmart or any store, really, Menards, anywhere. And it'll help you root your plants hydroponically. Um, they root fast and they root thick, so it's, it's a really good method, especially for clones, if you're going to be cloning. So all you need is a little bit of air tube for like a fish tank, an air stone, uh, a rubber made container, and then you just want to drill a little hole on the side for your air line. And then you can cut out your caps accordingly. Some people use uh, cups and pebbles. I'll be using these baskets to throw my peat pots in, so I'll be doing that right now. Um, the last thing you need is an air pump from a fish tank and water, of course. So I'm going to get this uh, filled up with water. I'm going to throw my uh, pea pots in there and I'll be back to finish the rest of the video. Alright, now that I have my water and my bubbler stone in, I'm going to go ahead and plug in this air pump to get it turned on. Alright, sorry for that awkward pose for a minute. You hear it turn on there. Now it's pumping air to the water. That's nice. I'm going to set my peat pots in there. It's going to be splashing little bits of water onto the bottom of them. And the roots are going to seek that water out and they're going to want to root themselves in the basin here. Uh, if you're going all out hydroponic, if you're, you know, flowering some clones or something, you throw some nukes in here, do the whole bit. And, I mean, it works good for a closet-sized box. This thing's only 24 inches tall, like I said before, so. And it's cheap. This is all, I'll, I'll estimate it at $10. $10. Cheaper than that, though. Really cheap. And it's really efficient, so. Yeah. Alright, and here's my five autos. Pop them in their trays. Took my tub. I didn't think they were getting enough oxygen. I don't know, it just didn't feel right, so switched it on over to the bubbler. I don't know if you guys can see the bubbly action. But I'm gonna throw another regular strain in the corner. And uh, get bubbling away. And I actually might go ahead and throw my third light in here now that I got the bubbler because it, it tends to get a little moist. So I try to keep some of that humidity down. Sometimes I'll use those uh, moisture packets in the corners to absorb any condensation that might occur. But I'll keep you updated. And I'll just turn out. Stay stony, stay subscribed. Cheers.